Hello. Today we're going to learn about energy awareness. And to help me today, I have my friend Mikazi here. Say, say, Buju Mikazi. Buju. So Mikazi is going to help me demonstrate some things that are high energy and low energy today. So energy is like the power that you feel inside of you. And so when I talk about things that are high energy, I think I'm talking about things that take lots of power. And so when my, my friend Megazi here, when he flies, Bimisse, he's using lots of energy. He's using high energy. His whole body's moving. His wings are moving. His head has to be looking around to see where he's going and for looking for prey. So that's a high energy activity. When we talk about low energy activity, something that only takes a little bit of power, we're talking about things like my friend Migazi here will demonstrate walking, bimisse. So when you walk, notice only his feet are moving, his body's calm. He's not taking using a lot of power. So that is something called a low energy activity. So thinking about when we just got done sharing, you talked about different activities that you like to do at home. Take some time to think. What are some things that you named off during Circle Share that could be a high energy activity that takes lots of power? So go ahead and think. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to share. Three, two, one. Welcome back. So you guys had a chance to share some things that require high energy. Things like you may have listed off include like running, jumping, biking, dancing, things that require lots and lots of movement. Now, I want you to stop and think about things that would require low energy. So stop and think for a minute. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to share activities that you named off that you can do at home that require low energy. Three, two, one. Welcome back. So you had a chance to share some things that require low energy. Some examples that you may have said include reading, coloring, watching TV, things that where your body is a lot calmer. Now, sometimes we need to go from high energy activity to a low energy activity, like when we come in for recess and when we need to start listening to our teacher. When we calm down from a high energy to a low energy, we are using something called self-regulation. Self-regulation, so that's a big word. So self means you're talking about yourself, your own body. Regulation is the way you feel and controlling on the way you feel. So self-regulation is controlling the way that you feel and the way that you act. It means your brain is in charge of your body. So self-regulation helps our brain and our body calm down. Using self-regulation can help you get what you want and need in a safe and respectful way. For example, if you are really excited that you and you want to share with your teacher about something, you might go, teacher, 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 but teacher's talking to someone else. So what you can do is you can use self-regulation. Your brain can tell your body, I need to take a breath. I need to calm down. I need to wait. And that way, you're shifting from high energy to low energy to help you regulate your body. So now we're going to try a couple activities or an activity or two on ways that we can go from high energy and calm our bodies down to low energy. <laughs> 